Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 49. For those of you that have been following along day by day, thank you very much for the break for the holiday season, celebrating Christmas and New Year's Eve with my family, and then apologies on the late start to the year. My wife got the flu, and I was at home taking care of all of the kids and making sure she was okay and back on her feet quickly. So we're back at it today. Today we are diving into the consumer applet, and we're going to dip our big toe into agent sites and then continue with several days of videos on the new agent site experience. So for those of you that are brand new, the new agent site experience is your agent site experience. But for those that have been with us before, the former agent sites are now being upgraded or updated to a new agent site experience. And today we're going to walk through the process of updating your consumer experience to that new agent site. So the consumer applet bottom one here on the left hand side, we're going to choose consumer. And when we do, we're going to get this page. Now, if you're looking at your consumer applet and it doesn't look like this, it means that you were most likely brought on within the last 60 days or so, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be longer than that. Bottom line is you already have the new agent site experience. If your page does look like this, it means that you've been with us for a while and you still have the older, if you will, legacy based agent site experience. Today, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our agent site to the new agent site experience to show you what that process looks like. Now, there are some big caveats that we're going to talk about when we go through this, including the fact that if you've previously created landing pages, those legacy landing pages will not carry over to your new site. They will have to be recreated. So if you have any content on those landing pages, you are going to want to make sure you download those, whether that's graphics, images, text, etc so that you can use them in the new agent site experience and recreate them there. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over to upgrade agent sites and we're going to click on this button and it's going to walk us through the process of introducing and then upgrading to the new agent sites. This is a quick walkthrough video it just kind of shows you what you can do with the new agent sites for the sake of time. I'm not going to play the video, but you can play it if you're watching the challenge. It does tell you, hey, there's some things that you can now do. We can make real-time updates to your website. We can use blogs on the new agent site experience. We can capture leads in several new ways. We can highlight preferred vendors and increase flexibility in editing and content management. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the next button. Basically says, hey, we wanna confirm your subdomain. Do you wanna continue with the same site that you were using or are we going to select a new one? And you can see on this demo account, we have Dream Homes in Keggy as our subdomain, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with that subdomain. So I'm gonna check this box. It basically says, hey, once you start the upgrade process, you will no longer be able to create any new agent site pages or landing pages in the current experience. So there's no going back, essentially. Once we make this upgrade, we cannot go back to our legacy site. We would not be able to access that old experience. We wouldn't be able to get a hold of our formerly created landing pages or agent site pages. So if you have created that, definitely something to be aware of. You want to get all that content that you can off of those pages so that you can recreate them again. I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm your subdomain. And it's going to take us to the next page, which basically says, hey, we need to confirm your subdomain. Do you want to continue? It's just one more time, right? So it says Dream Homes and Katie, your subdomain is confirmed. It also allows us to preview the new agent site. It says, I can preview what the clients will see. If you wish to edit any of your legacy site pages before you're making your new site live, now is the time. So again, one more time, it's telling you, you're not gonna have access to any of your formerly created agent site pages or landing pages if you move forward. So I can click on, I understand. I can click on the preview. Uh, looks like for some reason it's not bringing that in. We'll check on that, but I can go ahead and click on next and it's going to say, Hey, in order to up, uh, upgrade to our agent sites, in order to provide our agents the best possible experience, these will be automatically upgraded. Obviously we know that that didn't happen because ours still exists and it's past late 2023. I don't know what that date's going to be updated to, but we'll have plenty of notice bottom line. Um, it does say one more time, once you opt into this new experience, you will not be able to create any new landing pages. So once again, I'm agreeing to upgrade. Click on upgrade now. 
And this now takes us into the new site builder for our brand new agent site. So I can come in here and I can click on Dream Homes in Katy. And here is what our new agent site looks like. This is the old agent site, but it should update to the new agent site soon. Right? It may take a little bit because we just claimed that domain name. But tomorrow and in future videos, we're going to walk through some of the experiences that you have available to you when you have a brand new agent site. So we're going to talk about creating landing pages for open houses, how to change out your hero images, um, some custom things that you can do with featured listings, might even get into the ability to uh, pull in testimonials and or blogs. So stay tuned for the next several days on new agent site videos and training there. And as always, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I look forward to talking to you again real soon.